Okay, here I have the Motura Champions C43 Plus. It is a um, five dimple lock that have uh, spools. It also has um, a four rotor, um, four rotors on the bottom that interact with a sidebar and those rotors have false gates on them. It also has five passive pins to retain the key. Uh, this lock, I had it open before, and I'll probably link it here, but I thought I bricked it during the gutting process, so I cut the video, but it just turned out I needed to turn the plug back. So I'm going to try this again. Um, so here we got pin one binding, and we got a click, two's nothing, three's binding, and I know that this is my tallest flag, and it's not tall enough to do pins three and four. So I went and made a pick out of some music wire, um, and this can do it. But uh, this this pick is kind of soft, so I have to be a little careful with it. See if I can find pin three. Where are you, pin three? Did I lose pin one? No. Two. That's three there, right? Why does it feel so weird? Not moving. Is that pin two? Because I was getting like, I think pin one dropped. Yeah, that's strange. Right, pin three. I lifted pin three a little bit just to make it easier to get under it with this this pick here. It's bent. Look at that. It's bent so far. I should harden this, but I'm afraid that it'll get too brittle to use. Three. But it's getting really soft from picking this. Uh, I did get it open before, and uh, now I'm afraid it might not work. Sometimes I, I have a hard time getting a false set at the beginning. I'll just reset like that and start over maybe two or three times till I get that false set. Lift up pin three a little bit so I can get under it with this. Maybe back off my tension a little to make it easier to, to lift but then it's harder to hear the click. If I put on my headphones, I could use the, uh, the pickup to hear it. I think that was the click. I didn't get a false set, so sometimes I needed to tap pin one again. I got a click out of pin one, but I didn't get my false set, so maybe that wasn't a click on pin three. So I'll go back again, and hopefully, hopefully pin three. There we go, now I got my false set. I'll go back to the stronger pick again. And pin two, counter rotation, click, but I lost my full set. Tapped one, got it back. Let's go back. Four is nothing. Five. Oh, I heard something drop up front when I was doing that, but no, it didn't. Okay, so five is set. Let's see if, was it two that dropped? No. Hm. Interesting. Four, nothing on four. So that I think I need to go to my my rotors at this point. Um, you know what? I didn't move them all. Let's, let's push them all to the right, just so that they're all standard. Um, when you pull this key out, it will reset them all to where they exit the key, so you don't need to worry about actually scrambling them or anything during the pick process. Um, these pins sit really tight in their um, false gates. So you have to let off tension without dropping your pins. And they're really hard for me to see because I can't get close and I don't have a magnifying glass here. All right, it feels like two is binding. I got two knocked over a bit. I made another pick that has like, I can push onto the pin of the rotor, which I'll show you later, or I can reach around and pull it from the other side. But what I'm gonna do with this is see if they're in a in a gate or in a false gate or a true gate or no gate so if they're in a true gate they'll wiggle like this so that feels like it's pin one is good pin two I was trying to move so maybe I've been on pin one All right, there's pin one pin two let's try to get it over because it doesn't feel like it's moving at all so it's either not in a gate or in a false gate so I have to let off tension some to let it get out of that false gate. I think it's moving. Let's put 
attention back on. Let's go find the next pin. Three, I think. Three might be moving a little bit, so let's go see if I can find pin four. Is that four? Four might already be scooting over a bit. So that means that four might not be binding yet. Let's go back to this guy. See pin one, if I, no, he's still good. Pin two, did he go over far enough when I clicked him with that other guy? Let's see if I flip it over, maybe get to it from the other way. Where are you pin two? Only pin two, hello. Can't find him. All right, I'm gonna push pin one out of the way for a second. If I can, maybe I can't. Maybe I'll go to a hook. See if this can get to pin two or not. I have no light in there. Let's see if I bring a light over. Oh, okay. Maybe I can see a little with this. All right, pin two. Uh, pin one looks like it's just moving free back and forth. Pin two is stuck solid. Let's see if I can move him any further. He's stuck solid. Let's work our way back. Uh, I really want pin four is the, my my hard pin in here. So let's see if I can get to pin four. Okay, pin four definitely looks like he's moving free. So let's see if it's this pin two. Pin two is stuck solid. See if I can move him over a little bit. Will this hook work? Yeah, this hook will work. Eh, get on pin one. Oh, is it not pin one? Pin two. This is not working. Maybe the back of the pick. You can see I have not perfected my uh, my rotor technique yet by by far. All right, I got it to scoot over a little. Let's see if it's set with this little axe looking thing. Yeah, he's still solid. Oh, there we go. Wiggly. Pin one. Wiggly. Pin three. Wiggly. Let's check to see if that top pin four is it doing anything yet. Am I still going? Top pin, pin, there's the pin four. Is it doing something? Come on. Oh, oh lost my grip. Because this light's in the way now. Let's move that out. Top pin four. Is that you right there? Hard to tell. Sorry, I'm quiet. I'm trying to find that top pin four. Not easy to find. Is that you? Sounded like stuff was dropping there. It's getting open. Oh, why did it click more like that? I don't know. Pin four, come on. Five. gotta be you right there. Is that a click out of you? That can't be. I know you're really hard to set. You're like really high and and super hard to set. That can't be right. That can't be it. Okay. Yeah, I saw it was trying to, I can see it was trying to set and when I let off tension again, it sprung back up again. So, because it's a spool. Let's try it again. Gotta get it up really, really high. Come 
Come on, that's got to be enough. What are you doing to me? Oh, I'm bending my pick like crazy. All right, let's check uh, if I dropped two or five. Five. I feel four with this pick. There's no way I can set four with this thing. I definitely need to do it with this guy. Who's this? Is this him right here? Come on. I just had him. All right, fell back down again, or uh, shot up, or whatever you want to call it. Wait, stuck on something up front. What is this? One. Did two drop again? No. Three. Only. That's four. I know I can't do it with that pick though. Come on. When I touch it, I'm bending it back basically. This pick is so weak at this point. It needs to be hardened. If I don't succeed soon, I'll probably go harden this pick and try again. Oh, did I just get did I just get pin four set and drops I think I dropped pin five, but if I got pin four set, I don't care. If pin five dropped, pin five's easy enough to Reset. And there's pin five again. Did I lose pin two? Maybe. Nope. Nope. And pin four feels set. So now it's just down to the rotors. It looks like I pushed most of the rotors back to the right in doing all that nonsense. Oh, okay. Long pick. Hopefully I can get the uh, gut before my camera runs out of time it can only record for 30 minutes this is dslr and the silly european law all right so pin one is in a false gate i got it over some actually maybe he was in his true gate kind of back a little i need to get some of the further back ones over i need my light back so i can see all right pin two Binding. There, I pushed him over. Pin three. Pin four. Pin four is going kinda. Was going over. I lost track of it now. Hopefully it went over. I can't see. Can't see if it went over or not. Pin four is very hard to see and very annoying. Oh no, it didn't go over. I feel it. No, I lost it again. Are you over? I can't. I can't see. I mean, like a magnifying glass or something, my old eyes. All right, three feels like he's probably in the in the true gate. Oh, I found four again. Let off. Try to get four to go over. Did he? Try my uh, little axe pick again. I th oh, I, th I see four. Four went over. Okay, so now let's just make sure that we're in our gates. One feels in a gate. Two, I think it's in a gate. Three. Three. Where are you three? All right, I got you three. Let's just see if I can feel four. Four. Four feels like it's in a false gate, perhaps.
pretty hard to field back there. I think four is in the gate. Might just be three. If I can get on three. All right, three feels like must be false gate. Ah, I dropped some pins. This, I feel like this pick is not going to happen in this video as I drop some stuff. All right, one is set. Two feels. Oh, that was strange. Three feels like it dropped. That means I probably lost everything. Three. Yeah, if I lose three, that probably means that I dropped everything. Is that three clicking? No, because one. That was not one, that was not three clicking. I'm going to have to harden this and try again. Oh, got a big false setback. Two. Get under it so I can. Okay, two. What was that, four? Is that it? Four and five? If it's four, let's go ahead and try four. That would be really different. Oh, <laughs> and we're open. Okay, so <laughs> very strange open. Sorry, that took a very long time. I'm probably going to be too lazy to try to pick it again um, on camera. It's some reason off camera. Everything goes a lot better, but on camera, everything gets shy. So let's go ahead and I didn't bring the pinning tray again. I have one here that Jerry made uh, the STL for and I printed it out. This time I'll remember to lock her back up and see if we can move some stuff out the way. Get down on that. Area. All right, and I don't uh, need a way to take this off. This clip here, never easy to take these clips off. There we go. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Um, shims. I need some. I need at least one shim at the very least. There's a, one from the DVD. Here we go. Should have all this stuff ready in advance. So if you guys do these things, have it ready in advance. Can't fit that shim in because I need a key. There we go. We'll shim our way back. Come on. There we go. We need a follower. Uh, was it this size? That looks too small. That one looks good. Okay, we'll follow it back. All right, so I'm going to drop rotors out and. Um, rotors and the uh, passive pins are going to drop out. So number two rotor, there we go, passive pin. Number three rotor. And at one point I'm going to have to get this sidebar. Did I get the, I might have got those passive pins backwards, but who cares? And the last rotor, uh, sidebar. Good to have some different types of tweezers. So you can grab this sidebar out of here. There's the sidebar. Um, spring one somewhere. I'll find that spring later. I think it shot off maybe the end of the table there. 
look like it just landed up here, but... Huh. I'll find that spring later. One of the sidebar springs fell off. Here's the other one. I lost those sidebar springs twice today. But I found them both times, and this time I'm pretty sure I'll find it. I think it just went up and off the end of the table here, so it's probably limited as far as where it is. Um, pin one. Yeah. Oh, I see the sidebar spring. Three. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to move some stuff around. I just realized I still have top pins. There's the other sidebar spring. So I'm going to throw these passives up here. There is a slight bit of order. There's two types of passive pins. There's these ones that have the flat tops on them, um, like that. And then there's these ones that have these little spikes on top. So uh, when you build it, you gotta make sure you got the right ones. Um, so we'll move these pins down to here. And you can see they have like these uh, mushroom key pins on two and five whereas the other three are standard. Then for top pins or uh, driver pins, just take out our shim. And one is a standard. We felt that because we went after that one first and then we went after three. So the rest are gonna be spools. So one and three are gonna be standards. Two is a spool. Three is the st other standard. Four is a spool. I'm not sure why number four is a different color of spool. So it looks like a brass spool. There are other ones that look like steel or nickel coated brass. I'm not sure. And there's number five. So I don't know if I gave a lot of useful commentary, but there is going to be a second pick video, um, the one where I screwed up the gutting. Looking at this is absolute Swiss cheese. You've got the top and it's got this uh, sixth pin here with a little tiny hole for the key pin. And word of caution, the first time I took it apart, I stuck the plug back in the back of the Bible. And, and um, because there's no pin in there, the driver pin number one dropped into hole number six and um, then of course the key would go in but w the key wouldn't lift that sixth pin so I mean it's the easiest fix I got a paper clip that could fit up that hole because that hole's tiny I pushed up with the paper clip and then I stuck the shim on uh, pin number six then I was able to use the key from the front and open it up and put it back together the right way then you've got these look like contractor holes um, so the pins are too big to drop in there. You got the holes for the passive pins, and then you got the rotor holes, and then the sidebar hole. Um, that's a, the thing, the sixth pin with its small hole, it goes all the way through. So I, I don't know what that is for. Uh, if somebody knows, that'd be cool. Um, the rotors are cool. They have this, like I said, this little nub on top, and that's what I made the, um, the pick for that would grab on or you could reach around and grab and then rotate it back and forth. So these rotate inside there. Um, they are, they do seem to be rotation limited. Not quite sure what stops their rotation. Yeah, I'm not sure. So if I drop this in, this is number four, and we rotate it, you can see that there's the true gate, okay? And the sidebar has a little finger that's going to drop into that that hole of the true gate so you're going to rotate this back and forth but you see it only goes that far and then it gets stopped um not entire uh, oh duh it's probably no i'm not sure what stops it i'm not sure in any case um th these rotors they have a false gate on them I think all of them didn't have a false gate. Let's see. Yep, there's the false gate. It's a, a flatter area, kind of hard to see. There's a flat area there on this. And then the true gate is this. Oh, there you can see it. Flat area 
and then deeper is the true gate and they're pretty effective um, so that's the rotors there I'll show you the pins here's our pins pretty normal stuff it's just and these the tricky thing is that inside this cylinder if I were to just put a pin in right pin one you can't put the key in oh there we go pin one I can't stick the key in because this rotor on the bottom has to be in there because this is the this is the ledge the that that pin rests on so that pin actually sits down on this rotor like this it just sits on there so if you don't have this uh, rotor in here like this sorry I'm all over the frame I'm, I'm sorry um, now the key pin can sit on there and now the key can go in okay so without that rotor in there so you can't you can't if you want a progressive pick this you cannot remove rotors so you have to have all four rotors in there um, what you can do is you can remove the sidebar um, and then you could that would let you pick just top pins and then of course you could remove all the top pins and just pick rotors but I don't think you could do like two rotors and then the top pins and stuff you have to have all four rotors uh, in order to do anything with top pins anyways um, that's a very long video for this I'm sorry it's not shorter but I had a little bit of a rough time with the uh, the pick as you saw Hopefully it was a little entertaining and a little bit educational. Thank you.